What's up guys, it's Katie, and I like Justice League. I have been so excited to see and review Justice League for you guys. And don't worry guys, I'm gonna stay really far away from any spoilers. So I wanna start out by saying, I liked this movie, but it is not a perfect movie. There were definitely things in the movie that I didn't like, which I will get to because I always like to start with the positive. So going into this movie, a lot of you guys know I'm a huge Gal Gadot fan, I'm a huge Jason Momoa fan, I love Wonder Woman and Aquaman, and I've been so excited to see this movie for them. And they're fantastic in this movie, okay? In fact, all of the actors in this movie are really good. And I totally thought that I was just going to Justice League for Wonder Woman and Aquaman, but I left going, holy moly, I am so here for Flash and Cyborg. They are fantastic. Ray Fisher as Cyborg is so awesome. I thought he did an incredible job with the character. I thought that they did the character really, really well. I also loved the Flash. They definitely made him more of a comic relief, but the movie really needed it, and the movie had some really funny moments. Of course, they gave Wonder Woman some incredible fight sequences throughout this film, and I do have to say, the fight scenes are so much fun. I loved watching all of these characters come together and fight together, and they did a really good job of evenly distributing, well, sort of evenly distributing the fights, but each character definitely played a big part in this film. Uh, there was one character that kind of took a little bit of a backseat in this movie. I'm not gonna go any further than just say that because I don't want it to be a spoiler, but I liked that. I liked that because it really allowed for some of the other characters to shine and come forward and I think that's what really made this movie to be honest. So of course we get Justice League before we have the Aquaman movie, I don't even know if they're making a Flash movie anymore, and we haven't had anything about Cyborg, so it was really interesting to see how they set up these characters and I think they did a good job of giving them enough time in the beginning of the movie. There's been some movies in the past that have had groups of people and they kind of just come together really, really quickly and start fighting and are friends and you're like, wait, but I don't know anything about these individual personalities. So I think they did a really good job with that in Justice League, especially getting to know the characters. I do have to say, I really wish Aquaman came out first because it did feel a little rushed getting up to speed with Aquaman and what's going on. Uh, they're basically setting up the Aquaman movie for us in Justice League, uh, which is fine, but I was a little confused. I was like, wait, wait, what? Go back. Now I'm interested in that, but it has nothing to do with Justice League. It's just kind of setting up Aquaman, which is good because we need that, but it just, ah, I just wish that Aquaman came out first and I think it would have made a lot more sense uh, to at least have another full character established uh, alongside Batman and Wonder Woman. I loved the banter back and forth between the characters in this movie. There were some really funny moments, which I really enjoyed. I loved the banter back and forth between the characters, but at the same time they didn't swap out any sort of drama or heaviness of the plot to be able to throw in jokes. I think that they all kind of fit really well together. Um, there were moments that definitely broke up some tension that were hilarious. I honestly think that that's exactly what this movie needed. It needed a couple jokes, it needed a comedic relief, and we got that with this movie. So it felt a little bit more well-rounded, which I really, really enjoyed. All right, so now on to some things that I really didn't like. The first one, you guys all know, I am not a huge fan of CGI, and this movie loves, loves, loves their CGI. Gosh, there's just so many beautiful locations in the world. Like, go put Gal Gadot anywhere, and she'll look stunning. I, you don't really have to, you know, have this crazy CGI background to enhance the story in any way. A lot of it kind of felt unnecessary. I just, I'm not about the CGI. I think CGI monsters are awesome and bad guys are so cool, uh, but a lot of times, like, you'll just see a sky and it'll look completely CGI'd, and they used a lot of that in this movie, but it didn't hinder the movie for me in any way. It just was one of those things that I was like, man, if they only just shot like a little bit more in a real location and less on a green screen, it would just amp it up even more. Another thing that was really interesting about this movie is that the beginning, I am not gonna lie, like the first 30, 40 minutes of the movie, I was a little concerned. It's a little slow. You're not exactly sure how they're going to start introducing these characters and how they're gonna come together. And I was worried. It felt slow and I was unsure. But then after that point, the movie pretty much just took off and was great until the end. It really was. It was action-packed, it was fun, it was funny, I loved all of the characters, even Batman, which is saying a lot for me. And there are some moments in this movie that you really just aren't expecting that happen, and they're really fun. There were some plot inconsistencies and, you know, some slow moments here and there, but overall, guys, this movie's a lot of fun. I read some of the critics' reviews and I was like, 
how could they bash this movie so much? This movie made me laugh. It had me on the edge of my seat at some points, but yet everyone's experience is different and that's okay. You can like a movie, you can hate a movie, everyone's entitled to their own opinions. I loved this movie. I thought it was so much fun. I'm actually gonna go see it again in a couple hours because I want to watch it again. It was entertaining and fun and that's kind of what I wanted to get out of this movie. And also watching like your favorite characters fight alongside each other and see how they interact together. I'm so stoked for a second Justice League movie. I hope it happens. I think that would be awesome. I'm even more excited for an Aquaman movie now that they're kind of setting all that stuff up. I'm really hoping we'll get a Flash movie. He seriously stole the show. He was hilarious throughout this movie. It may not be a perfect, perfect, perfect movie, but I think it's a huge step in the right direction for DC Cinematic Universe. But I wanna know from you guys, have you seen Justice League? What did you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're a Justice League fan, I actually got to go to the Art Ludique Museum where they have a DC Comics exhibit right now in Paris, France. I'll put the link right here for you guys to check it out because they had costumes and concept art and props from every single DC show, movie, it was just absolutely incredible. So if you're a fan, you definitely want to check out that video right up here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos, and I will see you guys soon. Off to see Justice League again.